Hello YouTube! Flashlight Enthusiast here. This is the new Astrolux EC01X. The gigantic flashlight with only single battery and single SBT90 emitter. It is powered by the new gigantic 46950 format battery with 32,000 mAh capacity that is equivalent of 8 Samsung 40T battery pack in much more condensed size. Here you can see it side by side with Samsung 40T, here with 4 Samsung 40T battery pack from Imaland, and here with 8 Samsung 40T battery pack from Imaland. As you can see, the size really matters here. I got this one for a test from one of my friends, hence no box and unboxing video here, but as you can see here on the screen, you can see the included accessories that should come with the flashlight. The overall build quality is definitely excellent on this one, this nice olive analyzation looking good, maybe apart from those sharp edges on cooling fins and this lanyard attachment is really quite sharp under my hand, but other than that it looks really good. We've got nice metal switch as you can see that can freely rotate and there are some red and blue indicators under that. Here obviously some on-off anodization, hot markings and here some grooves for your fingers just to make the grip a little bit comfortable because this flashlight is definitely on the heavier side. The flashlight with the battery weighs around 918 grams or a little over 2 pounds. However, the battery itself plays an important role here. The flashlight without the battery definitely feels lighter, especially on the tail cap side. The threads come well lubricated from the factory with nice o-ring sealant and thick spring under the tail cap. Down the battery tube we can also see nice contact with flat surface. I wish they put a little bit more grease though. Thanks to the flat tail cap, flashlight has no problems with tail standing and we have additional tripod mount on the opposite side of the switch next to the USB-C charging port, covered by this rubber cover piece. On the business end we've got nicely textured smooth reflector with SBT90 LED inside under the glass with anti-reflective coating. Everything is well protected by the stainless steel bezel. When it comes to the ergonomics, I think they did it quite well. However, my reservation is of the switch, because even with my relatively long fingers when holding the flashlight here when it's supposed to be, I still have trouble reaching the switch comfortably without moving my hands forward towards the quite hot head during the operation. The click is relatively good and gives you nice tactile feedback, and when it comes to user interface, it is really quite simple. One click for on, one click for off, we've got the hold the switch for a shortcut to the lowest mode, then holding the switch will ramp up or down. And then we can also double tap for turbo output, triple click for the stroke mode. Then there is your voltage check, four clicks from off, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, pause, one, two, so 4.2 volts. One click will exit this mode and there is also electronic lockout by five clicking the switch from off. Once the flashlight is locked out, one click will just indicate by one blink of LED. Five clicks again to unlock the flashlight. Unfortunately, Astrolux is known for exaggerating their numbers and EC01X is no exception here. As you can see, I've measured around 4430 lumens at true mode and 3500 at max ramp. Obviously, 6800 lumens from single SBT90 LED is not impossible, however, you have to drive it really hard. And it's not the case here. In terms of throw, from this size of reflector it is definitely more like 1500 meters rather than over 3 kilometers of throw, which was the topic of the discussion on different forums whilst this flashlight was released. Surprisingly, for a single SBT emitter flashlight and Astrolux brand, the EC01X actually features flat output regulation. As you can see, we've got nice 4 minutes and 10 seconds 
of nice steady output of turbo before stepping down to lower mode which is 1729 lumen level with flashlight head achieving only 30 degrees celsius so i presume it could be much higher if only you could tune up the thermal regulation then as you can see we've got crazy amount of runtime here with overall runtime of 13 hours and 22 minutes before turning off manageable to sustain around 902 lumens with flashlight habadi stabilizing at 32 degrees celsius unfortunately with max ram being only 3500 lumens the behavior is actually pretty same so we've got much longer sustainable output before the step down around eight minutes but then we've got again 1739 lumen level and then another step down after approximately one hour to around again 902 lumens with over runtime of 14 hours and 50 minutes which is just outstanding performance before turning off and again here flashlight body stabilizes 33 degrees celsius so mildly warm definitely not too hot and mind you that charging of this one actually takes pretty much the same as it runs so it's just unbelievable battery capacity here Overall, I think that we will see more and more flashlights powered by 46950 battery on the market right now. While I believe this battery has huge potential for single LED flashlights, I don't think that it will cast out the multiple batteries battery pack from the market like those seen for instance in Imaland flashlights due to the limitations of the current that those batteries can deliver. While runtime is definitely impressive with this new battery, I think the weight and battery charging times is still a huge drawback when it comes to the flashlight this size. And if you ask me if I would take this Astrolux EC01X for my adventure instead of different lights, I would definitely say not really because of the dimensions and weight of this particular flashlight. I would rather go with something a little bit smaller with similar range with, with replaceable 21700 batteries then have this on me without any abilities to charge it quickly. With that being said, obviously different battery size or battery packs have their own drawbacks and positive sides. However, I think there's still room for improvement here and I'm really excited to see which direction it will go. I hope you enjoyed this short review of the Astrolux EC01X and new battery size. Of 46950. If you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to support the algorithm of this channel and not to miss any future videos that I release. If you have any questions or personal comments about this construction new battery, please leave them below this video. Thank you so much for watching and for your support guys and we will see you in the next one.